On our first session, I only covered four verses in Genesis, so I'm going to try to cover a little bit more ground this time. Starting in verse 5, chapter 1. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, one day. Now in the Hebrew tradition, uh, each day begins at evening, and it goes through uh, until the next evening. We start our day at midnight, in the middle of the night, which if you think about it, is rather random. Um, but in the Hebrew tradition, it starts in the evening, and it comes from this verse. Uh, there was evening, and then there was morning one day. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. If you remember on the last time, I said that uh, this separation of things that are different one from another, separating them and bringing order is a very strong theme in God's creation of the world and how the author here in Genesis tells the story. Uh, there's an orderliness to it. And God made the firmament and separated the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, and there was evening and there was morning, a second day. And God said, let the waters under the heavens be gathered together in one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the waters that were gathered together he called seas. And God saw that it was good. And God said, let the earth put forth vegetation, plants yielding seed and fruit trees bearing fruit, in which is their seed, each according to its kind upon the earth. And it was so. Again, you have this phrase, each according to its kind. Um, it's not willy-nilly, like we talked about in the last lesson. Uh, God is bringing form and structure and order uh, to the creation of the world. There was something, there was a mass, but now God is uh, creating, separating the waters from the land and having each form of vegetation pro produce seed or fruit, each according to its kind. The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed according to their own kinds, and trees bearing fruit in which is their seed, each according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning a third day. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heavens to separate the day from the night and let them be signs and for the season and for days and for years. And again, you hear this, this building of structure and order and let them be lights in the firmament of the heavens to give light upon the earth, and it was so. And God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. And God set them in the firmament of the heavens to give light upon the earth, to rule over the day and over the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning a fourth day. And God said, let the waters bring forth swarms of living creatures and let birds fly above the earth across the firmament of the heavens. So God created the great sea monsters and every living creature that moves with which the waters swarm according to their kinds. Again, you have this orderliness according to their kinds and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them saying, be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters of the seas and let birds multiply on the earth. And there was evening and there was morning a fifth day. And God said, let the earth bring forth living creatures according to their kinds, cattle and creeping things and beasts of the earth according to their kinds. And it was so. So I'm going to stop here. You can hear how it's 
uh, all of the the kind of the mass of earth is now being structured and ordered and everything according to its kind. And we'll see more of that in the verses ahead. Thank you for joining me.